Hey guys, welcome to another video here. I am Steve from G Boats Pop Vinyl. We got another mail call for you. So today we are going to open this Amazon box, this eBay package, this trade from our good friends over at Left Coast Pops, and this Pop in a Box subscription box. Let's get to it. Steve here again as I said we have some more mail today so we're gonna open some mail up today so let's get right to it let's open this mail this was from Amazon I bought this from Amazon uh, finally found one for a decent price it's exciting this finishes a complete set for us let's just hope it's in really good condition oh, looks like it is all right, so here we go. First up, Lil Sebastian from the Parks and Rec set. Television Pop 500. This is actually really, really good. This is nice. Like I said, this finishes our collection. We now have the entire uh, Parks and Rec set. Um, I'm going to be doing a video upcoming where I'm going to review the entire set. Now that we have it all, uh, we'll go through, we'll unbox them. We'll go over the pops and how they look compared to what they were on the TV. So stay tuned for that. But our first unboxing, Lil Sebastian from Parks and Recreation. So good. Next up, we got this eBay package. Um, again, uh, this was opened previously uh, just to check the condition of it. Um, I know what it is. I've already looked at the condition, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that it was what it was. So, let's open this one up too. This is another one I've been looking for for a while. It's similar to one um, that I showed you last time, I think. The last time mailing. Um, but this is Johnny Football himself. From Wave 1 of the NFL. This is Johnny Manziel. Here we go. Johnny Manziel pop. Yeah. A little bit of reflection there. Nothing I can do about that. Johnny Manziel, yes. Not a uh, not a big fan of Johnny Manziel. I really wasn't okay with this draft pick, but you know, wanted the pop because uh, I'm a big Cleveland Browns fan. So now I'm uh, with Johnny Manziel and Baker Mayfield uh, in the last video. I'm only missing now Jim Brown. Jim Brown is the only other Browns one left. Um, but here's to hoping. I get an Odell Beckham Jr. and a Jarvis Landry coming up this season. Yeah, so, Johnny Manziel. Uh, next, we are going to do our newest Pop in a Box subscription box. Um, we get uh, Harry Potter Pops. This is how we're quickly catching up with our Harry Potters. Um, so we're going to do this next. I don't know what's in here. Uh, Boat says she's read the label, but we have blacked out the label, so I don't know what's in here. So, uh... Let's open it up. I'm going to show you guys what it is first, and then we're going to surprise myself. So, you know, it's like a little little mystery box in a mail call here. So. Okay. All right. Don't want to look. Don't want to look at all. I'm going to take off these bubbles. things in here show you guys what's in here see if you guys can see what's in here I'm not looking I'm not looking what it is in here you guys like what you see I don't know what's in here so let's take a look at the first one all right uh, it's the front bottom it's the top first one is Ooh, the common nearly headless Nick. This is one we have been excited to wait for. This is uh, this is played by uh, Monty Python's John Cleese. We actually get to go see him next month. He is live here in our hometown doing some stand-up comedy. Really excited. This will be our second time seeing 
uh, John Cleese Live, but there we go, Nearly Headless Nick. Not the con exclusive that glows in the dark, but you know, still a nice pop. Let's see what the next one is. Alright, alright, alright. Still don't know what's in here. Um, seems to be the bottom, this means the top. And, huh? What is it? Tom Riddle. We have uh, Tom Riddle here. Nice, nice, nice. Tom Riddle, nice number 60. If uh, you don't know Pop in a Box, uh, there are a pop retailer. Uh, they You can get uh, subscription boxes from them um, in various styles. I used to get the Star Wars one. That's how I got most of my Star Wars pops. Lots of them. Um, and you can order them in a one pop subscription, two, three, up to six. Um, I think maybe even up to 12. Uh, it depends on the price and stuff. Uh, get pops and stuff. Um, and this is how we're quickly catching up on a Harry Potter pops. We started collecting Harry Potter late. Um, but yeah, pop in a box. If you don't know, uh, pop in a box. Um, we use pop in a box.ca. There's also pop in the box dot com and pop in a box dot co dot uk they're based out of the uk so then then our final one here there's the top is the bottom uh -huh. all right george weasley nice from the original from uh one of the earlier waves wave two or wave two or three george weasley there he's holding what is he uh, holding a couple boxes I'm not a big Harry Potter guy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big Harry Potter guy. I've seen up to movie five. I've read none of the books. Um, Boats has all the books. She loves them. She's seen the movies. Um, my kid devours Harry Potter. He's read all seven books. Probably four or five, six times already. He's only 12. He loves them. Devours them. Probably a good kid to take with me if I wanted to go to a, a Harry Potter trivia night. He would probably kick butt. So yeah, George Weasley. Anybody out there watching, if you come across an extra one of the George, Genie, and Fred Weasley um, Emerald City Comic Con uh, pops from the Quidditch World Cup, I'd love to talk to you about acquiring that. Um, if you can get an extra one, I will pay the shipping and for the pops. So, you know, hit up those DMs on Instagram. And here we go, last but not least, our good friends over at Left Coast Pops did a trade with us. Um, he got an extra one of what's in here um, from a mystery box. Um, I'm not sure whose mystery box it was. Um, I think it was Poptopia. I think it was a Poptopia mystery box. I could be wrong. Um, but he got, he had, a, he got two of these. In separate videos and stuff. I messaged him about it, got it, and uh, there was a Canadian exclusive pop that he was looking for that I just happened to have a connection for, uh, picking up at one of our local uh, retailers that still had one. So I was able to grab that for him. So we did uh, we did a nice little trade, and here's what I got. So let's get to it. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in here. Let's see how good Left Coast did with packing this. I'm judging your packing here. Yeah. Here we go. Guys, Left Coast. Man, you're awesome. He, guys, he put in an extra pop. We traded, he put in an extra pop. I feel bad. I didn't uh, get anything else. He put in an extra pop. He's awesome. I don't even know what it is. I didn't look. I just saw there's two boxes in here. So I'm going to pull out the one we traded for first. I'm going to show you the traded pop first. And uh, came in a pop protector. So the one we traded for first was the Chase Krampus. The Chase Krampus. Oh, I love this. I've been looking for this. Any of the Krampuses, really, for a while. Um, I, uh, God, I love the Krampus. I am of German heritage, so this is 
is near and dear to my heart. The Krampus is a uh, old German folklore Christmas monster. If you don't know, look it up. Look at Wikipedia. Krampus is awesome. Plus, the movie Krampus that came out a few years ago was messed up. Um, but yeah, the uh, Red Chase Krampus from Left Coast Pops. This was a trade. I traded him a Canadian exclusive uh, Montreal Canadiens Shea Weber Pop. Um, how you were a Montreal Canadiens fan, I don't know. Well, at least he's not a Leafs fan. So I'll take it. Go cool Flames. All right. And let's see what he sent extra. Dude, this is so awesome. I, I, you know what? I'll just be stoked with whatever it is. But here we go, guys. I haven't looked. I don't know what this is. Ah! Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, dude. Dude, left coast. Oh, I love it. It is the regular size Green Goblin from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, movie was so good. And you know what? I've been thinking about picking up these pops. This set, I'm just like, I should pick it up. And I've been humming and hawing and stuff. But now I gotta. Now I have to pick them up because uh, my friends over at West Coast Pop sent us an extra pop. And he sent us the regular Green Goblin. If you guys don't know, this also comes in a 10-inch. Which, well, if you've seen the movie, you understand why it comes in a 10-inch and not a 6-inch. The thing was big. Um, but... Ah, oh, man, Left Coast Pops, thank you, thank you so much. This is great. I, I absolutely love it, and uh, you just made me start to have to collect another another set, so thanks for that. My wallet now hates you. So, there we go, go guys. What did you think? What was your uh, favorite pop in this entire haul? Um, mine, of course, was the one we traded for. From Left Coast Pops. It is the Krampus. Krampus is my favorite in this video. Um, I love it. I also really, really enjoy the Little Sebastian and uh, Nearly Headless Nick. I am super happy to get those. Um, but yeah, uh, tell me which uh, pop was your favorite here in the video down below. Um, comment, like, subscribe, hit that little bell. I'll put a link to Left Coast Pops uh, YouTube channel. Uh, in the description below as well because uh, he might be doing an unboxing of uh, what I sent him and you know give him some views he deserves the views of course you can also follow left coast pops on instagram at, at left coast pops of course you can follow us at, at g boats pop vinyl on instagram and uh as we say keep it popping